it is currently 100,000 degrees outside, so y'all are going to have to just deal with my air conditioner for now. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, guys. Uh, just want to let you know, I am actually using you guys as guinea pigs right now. I'm using this as an excuse to make a video. If you follow my other channel, which most people don't, um, <laughs> but if you follow my other channel, you probably are aware that while I was filming a video the other day, my beloved camera decided to give up the ghost. It was a Canon power shot. Oh, what is it? SX40HS, I think was what the, the name of it is. And now look, that camera doesn't owe me anything. Okay, I'll just be completely open and honest with you guys. That camera does not owe me a dang thing. Um, I've had it for... I don't even know how long. Whenever it came out, because I got it when it first came out. And um, I've used it for photography. I've used it for videos. The video quality, it's supposed to be HD, but it was sort of meh as far as HD quality. But I did use it to shoot all of my videos. <clears throat> now, the photography quality of that sucker was phenomenal. Um, some of the pictures that I took, I mean, I used to take pictures of the moon, and I could see craters on the moon with that thing. So, I mean, I, I ain't even mad at it. I mean, it, it gave up the ghost the other day, and I'm sorry to see it go. I'm sorry that I lost the camera, but I ain't even mad at it. I did contact Canon about it, because I, um, I was hoping to not have to say goodbye just yet. So I contacted Canon about it, and I told them what the situation was, I told them what happened and everything, and they came back and they told me a couple of things that I could try to see if it would fix the issue. It didn't fix the issue, and Canon said there just wasn't anything that they could do about it. So I kind of, sorry about that, I kind of just have to deal, is the bottom line. So I went out, and this is where you guys come in as the guinea pigs. I couldn't afford to replace... Um, I couldn't afford to replace my camera. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. My arm's getting tired. Um, they offered me a deal where I could trade my camera and I could send it to them. They would give me a discount on a brand new camera, etc., etc. But at this time, I can't afford to replace that particular camera. It was not a cheap camera. So I can't afford to quote unquote upgrade. So I decided um, I would go out and I would sell a couple of things and purchase myself my first actual dedicated camcorder, which is also a Canon. Um, I don't even know what the heck this thing is. It is... Okay, it doesn't say it around the lens. I have no idea. It's a Vivix or... Blah, 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 blah. It's a camcorder. <laughs> it's not an expensive one. It was like, you know, it was like around the, the, the mid-200s, I guess. And I did have to sell some stuff to get it, but I figure it was either that or I was not going to be able to do much with YouTube. So, I am testing out said camera right now. And you'll have to let me know what you think of the camera. Is it working out well? You know, things like that. Now, normally I'm not going to be shooting like this in the car. If I'm in the car, I usually use my cell phone. Just because it's easier. I have a, I have a window mount and I don't have to sit here with my hand up in the air trying to... Uh, trying to not have the blood run out of my arm is pretty much the, you know. So I probably won't be doing this in the car, but I will have it up on uh, a tripod at home, so you will be seeing more images from this. So anyway, that's the story of how my poor beloved camera has given up the ghost and gone the way of the dodo. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the quality of this. Um, how's the sound? How's the picture? Etc. Etc. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.